Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can take our shapes and we can split them into unit fractions, and we will do that in five minutes or less. So you see we have three rectangles on the screen here, and I want to make sure that you understand that all three rectangles are congruent. Now that means I drew one and I copied and pasted it twice more because we need to make sure that we have congruent shapes. So I'm going to start by taking these shapes and I'm just going to break them into a very simple fraction. So I'm going to start with this rectangle on the left and I'm going to cut it in half right down the middle and you see that I've got two unit fractions, one half and one half and these are unit fractions because remember when we're talking about unit fractions they have a numerator of one so that means we have taken this and we've broken it down into as many uh, small parts as we can and since we are having two parts then the smallest number of parts we can have will be two separate uh, one halves numerator of one so I've got those uh, two parts those are each one half. Now, this is where things get interesting. I'm going to take this rectangle and let's pretend they go straight across. Guess what I just did? I just broke that exact same rectangle into one halves. But what makes that so interesting is that the shape right here is not necessarily the same dimensions as the shape over here. So the shape is different, but as long as we have the exact same starting shape, and remember we started with these rectangles being exactly the same, but the unit fraction is the same. And so that's the interesting part about unit fraction is that when we divide them into different types of shapes, so this top part right here and I'm going to just color it in right here, is actually equal to this right here. Even though they're different shapes, really if you want to imagine it, imagine taking this part right here, kind of hits this part right here, and if you take the bottom part and you move it over here, then you can kind of see how those two work together. But those are two congruent unit fractions even though the shapes are completely different. Now, we really want to get wild and crazy. Take a look at this. I have cut this shape in half. And remember, not only do we know unit fractions have a numerator of one, it's a fraction because they have equal groups. And so this right here is equal in size to the other one half. That's why I can call it one half. But this is another unit fraction of the exact same shape that we have already dealt with two other times. And take a look. It's the same shape as this one and the same shape as this one. Let's see if we can find another example. Looking at these same rectangles, let's see if we can make some more unit fractions that are the exact same area but different size. So we can start with just a horizontal line that goes across, that cuts it in half, then a vertical line that cuts our half and half, and so we've got each of these little fractions are the unit fraction one fourth. Now what if we were to completely change it and use diagonal lines? So that's one half. We're gonna take another diagonal line and cut our half into half, and guess what? these are all going to be one-fourth. Now, what if we were to take a horizontal line and then another horizontal line on top of that? And then another horizontal line. We've got really four skinny horizontal lines that are each one-fourth. We could do the same thing here if we did it vertically like this some vertical lines. So these are all one-fourth. And then we can even get a little bit crazy like this. We can take it one-half this way. We can break this top half like this. And the bottom half we can cut in half like this. Now take a look at this bottom one. These are all one-fourth even though they are different shapes. 